Hey there, welcome back to Interactive White Box. And we're here uh, coming back to the horizon level that I've been building within Unreal Engine 5 for the last uh, while. And last time we were, lo was, were looking at this project, um, we wanted to kind of take a look at some of these areas that I have planned out kind of according to the, I think it was like 15 second rule, where every time you're in one of these areas, you wanna have some sort of, you know, other point on the map close to you. So there's not open areas uh, all over the place, or uh, you don't wanna like condense everything down into, you know, you don't want to have everything, you know, clustered up in one area. You want to kind of have things spread out, but you also want to have, you know, like I think around this uh, village is a is a good area to have maybe a few things clustered up. But you want to have kind of a wide view of uh, of different icons around the map. So we kind of made some uh, kind of made some decisions. So one of the decisions that I made was. Uh, to really, you know, give some of the outskirts of the, I guess, n northwest of the camp, uh, kind of a, a little bit more of a game plan as far as what we we're gonna have on there. So, uh, as you can remember, um, we had to move this Thunderjaw activity way up north because it was kind of close to the village. So I wanted to move that up there and then we also made some uh, decisions to include a bandit camp and then also um, get a, a watchtower in here and also a save campfire. Um, these save camps are prevalent within the Horizon series, so I wanted to include that and we'll kind of keep that kind of the back of our mind going forward to include those, um, you know, in the most ideal spots. I know that they're kind of littered throughout the map, but um, you might think about, um, I don't know, you might you might kind of think about that a little bit more um, the more into the map we go. But yeah, I think we have kind of a good start here. So I'm still coughing. I might uh, be out of breath. So I'm going to try to, you know, keep keep things going without me um, losing my breath and, and you know, stay hydrated. So with that in mind, um, this is kind of a big uh, episode because last time, the last time uh, we were, you know, working on this in a video, um, there's a lot of updates I've made since then. So one of the one of the updates that I included on this was I wanted to add some sort of climbing mechanic. So if we start the game, should start the game. I don't know why it's there. We go. <coughs> so. One of the updates that I've included is you see that there's like kind of this uh, ray cast, sphere ray cast in front of the character. And what that's basically for is to detect uh, a ledge. So when I am now able to climb on ledges and um, the reverse, I can also click down to let go. And yeah, it, it works pretty well. Um, I wanted to incorporate uh, some sort of climbing. Uh, it's not perfect and it, it's pretty basic, but I think I can kind of get started with this and at least maybe make some areas where I can like climb up on a ledge and maybe down the road I can uh, experiment with implementing something a little bit more complex. Um, but this system right here and then um, the, the next one I'm gonna show, I got from a YouTuber called Ryan Laley, I think his name is. Um, I will post, um, I'll post something down below in uh, the description to his playlist because he has a lot of great Unreal Engine tutorial videos. And uh, I think it's 
great channel to watch if you're especially if you're newer to unreal and you want to kind of get something up and going and he actually uh was uh the one who taught me the whole uh quest system so like with the journals and then the inventory system um i got all that from his video so i will link a uh, link to his channel down below and i invite you to watch it <coughs> the other thing that i adjusted or what 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 i added was i really want to bring a lot more life into this um this project and one of the things that i felt was very par paramount and very important was to include some sort of ai so you see that uh, you got these uh, guys just walking around. Uh, this is kind of just random AI that um, I have set up. So these guys are just kind of going to random points. It's very simple stuff that I, I set up, but I just figured, you know, just to start out um, having, you know, some some people walking around the, uh, the village here might be a great way to bring some life into uh, this village and make it seem like it's a lived in place. So that's something I did want to include. And then the other thing that I included with that is, uh, <coughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a bit long, but, um, yeah, I, I've done a lot of kind of side work. Um, I just really wanted to try to get this in a, in a much better state. Uh, one of the other things I added is I've added these um, these rock assets. And uh, you might see like a Stonehenge thing off in the distance uh, a little bit later. I just wanted to put a, a place in the map out of the way where I have all the rock assets and I can just kind of copy and paste them and then drag them over. So, um, you know, I, we might go and, and place some rocks um, and I can show you where I have that. But having these rocks, I think, in the, the level adds and, and you might see some wonkiness with uh, the climbing here and there like that. That's not supposed to happen. So yeah, uh, the climbing uh, the climbing stuff is is not perfect, but you know if um, you can play around with stuff and, and make sure that you know, so we might re really need to clean up some of this uh, foliage too. But yeah, I, I want to add some rocks. And if I hit play now, because I want to show you another thing I added. <coughs> so, you know that I added the watcher machines, but um, they're actually their own AI. So right now they're just kind of uh, doing what the NPCs in the village are doing. They're, they're just going to like random points uh, in the particular nav mesh that I have them set up in. But once I get um, kind of what I'm working on now uh, finished, I hope to incorporate the same logic to these um, watcher creatures because what I'm working on now, and you can uh, you can um, you know preview all of the nav meshes with uh, the P key. And again, uh, the nav mesh stuff, um, you know, this, this green outline is going to be where the enemies or the AI in general are going to go. So I don't want to like cover the whole map with one giant um, nav mesh. And I, I figured that probably is best uh, practice anyway. I, I really want to just add in the nav meshes to where I want the particular set of AI to go into. So <coughs> as you can see here, I have this separate area for just the, um, the watchers here. And then I have this nav mesh area for the village. And you can see that I've split these nav meshes so they don't touch. 
because I don't want these guys going into the watcher area and I don't want the watchers going into this. So it's kind of a, an easy way to just make sure that, you know, you're separating all of your AI and, and whatnot. Uh, and then the next thing that uh, I want to show you is kind of where I've been building out this AI and, and testing it is actually um, right here. So what this is, is this is kind of the early stages of the, uh, this is the bandit camp. And uh, I kind of have a good idea of what this is gonna be. Um, and I'll kind of get into that later and we'll start to really kind of block out what that might look like. But I wanted to just kind of get an area started um, so I could kind of test the AI as I was building it. So right now I just kind of have this floor area here and then I kind of have this makeshift building and and all of this will kind of make more sense um, when I kind of get into what this is gonna actually be because I kind of like the idea um, the only weird thing about it being a bandit camp is it's kind of close to the village uh, this might um, this might make more sense if uh, the bandit camp was uh, a lot more somewhere secluded. So I might make this not a bandit camp. I might turn this into something else. Maybe just, uh, maybe just a ruin that you can discover. Um, maybe no one will be in here, but I think for now we'll just have it be a bandit camp and then uh, we'll just kind of set that up and then yeah, and, and hopefully we can revisit it later if we need to. And I don't know. I don't think it's the end of the world if this is a bandit camp and it's so close to the village. We can kind of make it seem kind of secluded if we add in, you know, foliage and, and rocks and, and more terrain between, you know, this and then the village. But they are kind of close together. So that's something to, to keep in mind. But I, I'm not going to worry about that now. I'm going to worry about that a little bit later. But the cool thing about this place, <coughs> and, and, and this is a, a, a huge work in progress, but as you can see, um, I'm just going to stop it. I'm going to replay it. So I'm going to go and bring up the AI um, or just the debug visual tools. And if I hit four, it should pop up. That's weird. Uh, it's not popping up, but you should be able to uh, be followed by this guy. And then if you lose sight of him, he'll kind of just not, he'll, he'll kind of go to where your last location is, but he'll uh, definitely just not even yeah he'll follow you if he sees you so there is some perception that we we have and see so you can see that he's following us um but if he loses sight he'll just kind of go and wander off again and i'm trying to press four because perception yeah i don't know why it's i don't know why it's not going because there's a perception check there, but there should be, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I need to click, uh, maybe I need to select this guy. Let me see. Yeah, and yeah, there we go. So yeah, you can see like where he's able to see and you can see that he sees you. So if you duck out of the way, which I'm, I'm doing a very terrible job of right now. Uh, you can see that, yeah, he just kind of goes back. <coughs> and again, I, I need to work more on this um, because there's more behavior that I'm sure I will be able to add to him. And I'd like to add this to like machines and stuff and really get a proper like, um, yeah, bandit hideout going with this. So I don't know, I think this is really cool. Um, it's just one of those things that really helps when you're wanting to design levels and you're wanting to, uh, 
you know, lay things out. Uh, having, you know, working AI and, and, and having kind of that logic implemented into like NPCs and, and enemies and stuff really helps with uh, the layout and, and testing to make sure things feel good and and make sure things feel where they need to be. So that's kind of the, an important reason for implementing stuff like this. Even if you're not really too familiar with uh, coding things or making things happen, you know, all you really need to do is just go out uh, on YouTube and just look for ways to make things happen even if they are as janky as possible That is probably the best advice I could give anyone who wants to get into level design is just learn how to make things happen um, And if they don't work initially just keep trying and uh, you know things don't have to be completely perfect especially on a programming um standpoint um now if you're kind of your job is to you know do more scripting types stuff yeah it, it's much more important but if you're just trying to get something to work um you know just start with the basics you know you don't have to overdo it but yeah this is a really great example of just testing something making sure you know things work the way that they do so yeah i'm really uh, happy with this and i'm excited to you know, get started on this uh, particular um, bandit camp. And with that in mind, uh, let's kind of go into the discussion about the bandit camp itself. <coughs> so, I can see, um, I kind of made this funky kind of um, shape thing here. And one of the things I want to incorporate with bandit camps themselves, and I'll kind of bring it up, but... Uh, bandit camps are very, very different in its uh, kind of look and feel. Uh, and, and I think it's for good reason. I think you want them to kind of stand out. You want them to, you know, look different. Uh, and you see that there's a lot of spikes. There's a lot of points. Um, a lot of red, reds and grays, especially in uh, the first Horizon game. You saw that. You want to make these spaces look unique and different. So when players come across them, they know, hey, this is a this is like a bandit camp, and you want to you want to have that visual language. Uh, it's very important. So, <coughs> with that in mind. I think um, it's, it's kind of nice to notice that like a lot of these bandit camps that are in the game, they kind of exist. Uh, some of them kind of exist amongst ruins. There's other ones that I think are kind of just built from scratch. I think this one might be actually from... Oh, this must be from the... Um, how was the first DLC? The Frozen Wilds, I think it is because of the giant volcano. Uh, so yeah, it it has a, a distinct look. It's gonna be very broken up. So we wanna kinda have that sort of visual uh, language, a lot of broken tree branches, um, not a lot of growth. And I think that may be a good starting point. And we don't necessarily have to do exactly like what Horizon uh, Zero Dawn did, we can do something a little bit more different. But one of the things that I really had the idea of is, you know, we're kind of uh, in our in our map, we're kind of on the edge of the, the, the ocean here, uh, because if you aren't aware, um, we're basing our little island off of Hawaii. And um, I forgot what the I forgot what the actual name of the yeah like we have Honolulu in here so we're we're kind of basing it off of that uh, geometry probably not super exact but the the geometry in the Horizon games aren't really particular exact in the first place so I think we can kind of get away with 
you know, things looking a bit different. But uh, what we should do is um, kind of consider this this area, you know, being close on the map and and thinking about, you know, what what sort of place would be, you know, right? <laughs> Right, you know, up against the ocean, and and my idea that I had was to uh, have a kind of a nice ruined mansion. So I don't know uh, for those who've played Forbidden West, uh, you probably know what this uh, mansion is. Uh, I'm not going to give any spo spoilers uh, to uh, whose mansion this is. Um, you'd have to play the game to figure that out, um, or just uh, yeah, uh, just look at. <laughs> My, my window here, uh, you probably figured it out. Um, but I, I really thought of this mansion for some reason, and I really thought it was really cool to kind of have like, a, kind of this old ruined mansion that used to be like a really nice house, but it, it's, it's different, you know, it, it's dilapidated, um, it doesn't look, really good anymore so uh, this is something that <coughs> I think we should really kind of take some inspiration from and I think th combining this with kind of some more of those uh, bandit camp like aesthetics I think could be kind of interesting um you know and, and I think you know of course something like this you know this is pr probably an old ruined building anyway but I don't know I, I just had this I don't know, I kind of like this idea of, of this being like a ruined mansion. So, kind of embedded kind of in the the hillsides of this uh, island. So kind of what I wanted to do is kind of build out a general floor. Uh, mainly I just started this just for the nav match and to check that out. But I wanted to have kind of like this uh, nice little area where maybe this is like a central kind of lobby for the home uh, it goes kind of down to this basement that you know might have um, might be like an entertainment space or something for like um, you know p the the person who lived in this home back then could have had a, a space to entertain themselves or other people <coughs> and then um, you could have like this uh, living area. I was even thinking about maybe having this be a balcony and we could expand this even further to make like a nice little balcony that overlooks the ocean. And we could uh, build, you know, little rooms and stuff out here. And that's kind of what this is, is this is a, a kind of a, another addition to the home. I was thinking of like having maybe, um, having this kind of be like a driveway and it just circles around. So this is kind of one way you can come, uh, like a long way of you coming through here. And maybe this is like um, a garage or something or, yeah, I mean, there's different things that we can kind of do. Um, I kind of like that idea though. <coughs> so we might play around with that. And then uh, we just have different areas. I might even add something over here. Um, maybe just another addition to the house. Um, and we can always expand this uh, nav mesh uh, block as well. We don't necessarily have to um, ha keep this this size. We can you know push this further this way um, over over here too. So there's a lot of things that we can do. So I think I'm just going to start uh, just building stuff and uh, seeing how, how that goes. Uh, one of the first things I want to do though, this is just kind of a, a place I, a thing I wanted to put in just to test the sites. Um, but I might keep it, I might keep it, well, hold on, let me see. Um, <coughs> actually, I don't know, I might get rid of this because might want to do something else with this. So I'm going to go into modeling and then um, we have some different things that we can uh, focus on. So we have this 
right here. And this, of course, is going to have, uh, you know, multiple areas. Um, what I might do, though, is I might um, extrude this out. Because the idea is I want to make like kind of like a, a driveway thing. Or this is kind of an area where, you know, you can come in through. And what I might do with this as well is uh, I might, might kind of just get this. Uh, excuse me. I cannot wait to feel better. That is what I, I hope I can. I hope I can get to a, a point where I can start feeling much better. So we can have that kind of be uh, an area that has that. <coughs> we can also extrude this. I don't know if I really want to have this be, um, boom. I might, might flatten this out as much as I can. to feel natural I don't want to f make this feel too like jarring but I feel like I might not have much of an option let me see if I can add, insert an edge loop because I want to expand this out I'll hit done I'll select this and then I will Expand this to kind of meet the wall here. And again, we can go back and we can add in trees, rocks. We can really uh, just hide some of this jankiness. But what I want is I want to have a good start to something. So I'm going to extrude this out. But I'm going to start to like slope this down. I'm going to select this edge right here. I can. I might have to go in here and really select that. And I just want to kind of just start shaping out what I'm imagining this like driveway to look like. Yeah, I don't want it like too steep. I want it to kind of gradually kind of go down and kind of meet the the bottom here. And again, uh, we might have to be a little bit creative on, you know, what this might look like. So I might actually do that now. Um, bring this out maybe a little bit and just uh, slide that down. Again, we might have to add in some, um, some rocks or something against here. Actually, well, I 
I'm gonna I'm gonna whip this up a little bit more. I'm gonna extrude this out. I'm just gonna expand this. See what I could do with um Yeah, I don't know, it's gonna look kinda weird. <laughs> I'm just only gonna expand it out to maybe like right there. Expand that to out there. I can add some geometry or whatever to it. I'm just gonna extrude this. And this is gonna go into the ground somewhere, so. And it might be kind of weird because um, it's not particularly like flat here, <coughs> but this is a huge driveway. I mean, this takes up a lot of space, but I'm hoping that um, we can be kind of cheeky and creative with, um, you know, whatever. And uh, we don't necessarily have to worry too much about it. And we might also, well. I, well, I don't think that's too bad. something going um i don't know if i'm like that happy with it but we can always adjust it later it's just it's a lot <coughs> but i think uh i think this could be a kind of a nice area where you know if there's a lot of kind of enemies here but that's the problem, is it's right next to the village, and I don't really know if this is going to be a good spot for that. And actually, I don't know, I... I'm kind of wondering if this might be a better, um... A better area for what we're trying to do. Um... You know what? I'm kind of thinking so. So I'm just gonna go back and um, actually I could probably just hit cancel, right? Yeah, I can just hit cancel. Um, and instead of that, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new box. And with this box, I'm just going to uh, select that, hit complete, go to poly edit, and I'm just going to, um, I'm just doing it on this side. I, I think, I think it might be a little bit more natural. So uh, we'll just kind of see what that is going to look like. And then another thing that I did was I wanted to um, kind of add some, just a solid gray color to a lot of these. So um, I created just a solid gray uh, material. Oh, um, I have to, yeah, that works. <coughs> you just have to hit accept. Okay. so. With that in mind, um, one of the things I want to do before I do that, though, is I'm going to go in a cylinder here. And I'm going to create a cylinder. And I'm going to create kind of a, like, a wall of this area. I'm going to show you um, how to cut in like shapes for different um, 
I just cut in like shapes for things and whatnot. So this is gonna be a, a pretty big sizable area. I kind of want the edges of this to really just, I don't know. This is gonna be a pretty big size of the building. And I might, yeah, I mean, this is probably going to be really huge, but I think it will be for a good reason. So what I'm going to do is I got this right here. And then I'm gonna go into poly edit. I'm gonna raise this up. And I'm just gonna try to make it a reasonable height. I don't know if I want it like that big. I think that might be good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit accept. And I'm gonna put in another spear or cylinder. I haven't seen Sphere this whole time. <laughs> Probably. Oh well. Uh, cylinders. That's what we're working with. And then I'm going to uh, create the same thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to really size this to be kind of <laughs> kind of be the uh, outside. So I might have to take a, I might have to set this up like from the top here, but um, we're going to hollow this out and turn this into a giant room. So I think that's a pretty good size. I'm happy with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to really expand this out. I'm just going to shove it right through the middle of this. I'm just going to check all my sides, make sure that I have everything. Uh, and I'm going to save too because <coughs> I don't want to do this wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to hit uh, Mesh Duplicate. I'm going to hit Accept. And then I'm going to hit Shift and then that. And then I'm going to hit um, Mesh Cut. And while I duplicated that, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Why I duplicated that bottom cylinder is, um, I think it's for this preview. So you have a duplicate of the preview so you can see like what it's going to look like. So, um, that looks pretty good. Maybe a bit big though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select all of these. I'm gonna see if I can just uh, just make these all just a bit smaller. And hopefully I don't like mess anything up. I might have to. So what we'll do is we'll do that again. So I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to hit shift and hit that. I'm going to do mesh cut. And I'm going to just take a looky. Yeah, I'm just going to hit accept. It might be easier to um, 
work on it. But I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit delete. <coughs> and now what we have is we have a wall <coughs> that we can um, just move around. I mean, this is just a giant cylinder. And we can, um, we can scale this in. We can do a lot of different stuff with this. So this I think works a lot better than like doing some weird stuff like that. So and that would have worked much better building this um i'm calling it like the the eat hall i don't know what the technical name of it in the horizon universe is but yeah making like this kitchen a circular building uh making it like that would have been much easier so yeah and you can always uh you know make little doorways and stuff so one of the things i wanted to want to do is, um, you know, we have this, um, we have this going, so, uh, we're gonna go into poly edit, and we're going to just, um, really size this out, and, and we might need to make kind of a, a little landing area, uh, again, uh, we just want to make a spot where we can, um, get things kind of going. So I'm just going to expand that out. <coughs> and we'll just, uh, we'll try to create the driveway on this side of the building. So I think I'm just going to have this come out. I just make like a small little entrance, may not make it as big, and we might actually also just move this like that. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, I'm going to select this, and I'm just going to try to size this in a way that's going to make a lot of sense. Um, because I don't want a lot of crazy geometry going around. I really want to kind of make sure that things are lining up to like the outskirts of like little mountain areas. So we might just put that there. And that's, uh, I think that's not too bad. We might even like put this, um, kind of where we need it to be. So I kind of have this, um, kind of have this going on. I don't know if we want to have that, maybe pull that back. I don't think that would be too bad. We'll, we'll extrude and we'll kind of do kind of the same thing that we're doing with the last, where we're just kind of trying to get these to work with the terrain that we have. <coughs> now I think this is a lot more easier. I think that the terrain on this side of the mansion is going to feel a lot more condensed. And again, we can always like put in rocks and stuff on this side here. Um, yeah, I like how this looks a lot more better. And you know, the main entrance isn't, you know, on the right next to the village. Um, it does feel like you'd have to kind of travel a bit, but we can also add in kind of like a back entrance. Maybe we can have a, a ladder back here. And that's one of the things I do want to incorporate. I, I would like to incorporate a ladder. So that's something that we could add. <coughs> I mean, that's the thing about these uh, bandit camps in the games is there's 
a lot of different ways to um, go into the camp, so I think that would be really good to have. So we have that going. Um, I'm going to select this again and I'm going to hit extrude and I'm just going to bring this out to, I'm just going to bring that out to there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align these up with uh, these points over here. So I actually might even expand this out a little bit more further. Because what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to extrude that, and I want to bring it out to here towards the ground. And make that kind of the driveway that we are looking for. I think that looks a lot more better than what was going on over, over there. And again, I might, I'm going to do the same thing over here, so um, this might be a little bit more um, tricky. So actually, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to extrude this. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something, try to do something a little bit different. Um, I'll kind of place that there, but I'm gonna see if I can do kind of like a little corner curve with this. Again, this might not um, look too good, I guess. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna look kind of weird. But. We'll see, we'll see what, uh, oh, like that, did I do something? Let me, <coughs> <coughs> I try to extrude again, okay, I don't know, I, I, I don't know what happened. So we'll kind of go down a little bit further. Um, we'll try to kind of rotate it a bit and kind of just move it around. So we got that going and that kind of, I don't know, I kind of like that because it's not as big as what we were doing over there. And there's kind of this nice little thing where you could set up some uh, like defenses here. There's two separate areas that you go. Maybe this is a lot more heavily defended than, you know, going on the side here. There's different things that you can do. And, and, and I'm excited about that. Um, I might take a look at this because this is going to be kind of interesting too from a uh, general perspective. Again, I'm not sure. I think, I think that's too tall, honestly. So I might, again, I might uh, just bring this down <laughs> and of course, uh, I might make that a little bit more taller. And what we can also do is, um, we're going to have a new box. We can complete that. And just like the inner circle, um, 
maybe we can kind of carve out just an a section of the home here that is going to be kind of the like entrance of the home or something. So what I might do is select that. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to mesh dupe that. Hit OK. I'm going to then click that and then I'm going to do mesh cutout. I've got that going. I hit accept. I'm going to delete. Actually, I'm not going to delete that because uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift that out of the way. I'm going to just hit that and I'm going to hit delete. <coughs> so we have a little opening here. And then what I'm thinking of doing is um, I'm going to bring this down. you see that this is kind of adding to the mesh itself. Um, I'm going to kind of shorten this down a bit. We put that just like right there. I think that's fine. Um, let's make sure that this is, um, I bring out just a little bit more. And we might have to like, um, might have to add some uh, more like flooring over here. So um, actually, yeah, let me just do that. So I'm gonna hit that and create a new box. I'm gonna poly edit. And uh, actually, I'm going to hit accept. I'm going to move this over here because this seems to be where the floor is um, starting. <coughs> and we're just going to fill up these gaps. Um, I'm sure that uh, we had, I don't know, this was all kind of like, um, I think all of this was filled up, but uh, it must have like got deleted when we um, must have got deleted when we like cut things out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and refill those back up. And I'm just gonna fill them with new shapes. What I'm gonna do is I might just go to here just bring this out as, as much as I can and just expand it. This is gonna get cut into the it's gonna get cut into the mountain anyway. Just fill that fill that gap. Might look kinda weird, but I don't think it'll be too bad. We'll hit accept. And we'll do the same thing over here because it looks like this. Um, let me just edit this too. And we could also bring this out to the side there. Oh, but yeah, that's not going to look good. I'm going to extrude this. <coughs> I 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add in some edge loops. Might not want to add in like too much, but maybe enough to where uh, we can at least play around with the shapes a bit. And go into here, and take this, and we can just move this kind of to the side here. That's pretty good, like that. Um, we'll go into here as well, and then we'll close this up and hopefully create kind of a kind of a curvature to the wall down here. Yeah, I, I'm really liking this. I think this is kind of a, a cool spot. So I'll hit accept. And then that will be kind of a new area. Now we're going to go into here. A new box hit complete and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to just build a little entrance thing here <coughs> I am going to make this more of like an interior I'll probably put some like roofing or something over here but I think I'm gonna just kind of keep this open for now but I think when we kind of uh, finish this uh, area off, um, I might start to close some of these areas out. But I'm gonna go ahead and enter the edit poly mode. And then I'm gonna just block this out. So I'm thinking of keeping this kind of open. Um, you might need to make some decisions on like how the floor of this area is going to be set up. Because we have kind of this hill right here and I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I don't want, you know, the I'm pretty sure I don't want like the this to be all yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into here and I might insert a loop might have to um, actually I'm gonna hit done I'm going to hit accept and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just hide this and then I'm going to go and select this again <coughs> because with that hidden we can just work on the inside box that we're trying to cut out. So I'm going to go into poly edit, I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to just make some edge loops here. And what I want to do is I want to try to create kind of a floor. So I'm just going to, well, I think I'm going to need some more loop cut, uh, loop cuts. And actually what I'm going to need is probably one there.
and then um, try to one there. <gasps> So that is, I think, what I'm going to need. And then I'm going to have to lift this up. It's kind of like lifting. A, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to be kind of like lifting. A, lifting something, yeah. I'm just going to try to try to make this as good as I can. I think that's going to be pretty decent. So um, with that, I'm just going to hit accept. And then I'm going to hit that there. So with this, I'm going to mesh dupe. Hit accept. Hit that. Mesh cut. And you can see that hopefully when we cut that out, we can delete that. We can delete that. <coughs> A kind of nice thing. Uh, one thing I will n note though is I'm not a fan of the I'm not a fan of the floor cut that I made, so I'm probably gonna just redo that. Get that. So make sure I don't have any of my duplicates. I think that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually poly edit this. <coughs> Jeez. I'm going to hit that, and then I'm actually going to have that come up to the same level. So I'm going to level this out. I might have to level this up even more. I think that's fine. And I might just bring this way back well yeah I think I'm gonna have to actually bring all of these way back So I'm going to hit accept. <coughs> I'll do the same thing. I'm going to mesh dupe. Hit accept. And then I'm going to hit that. I'm going to mesh cut. And I am much more happier with that. So I'm going to hit accept. I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to delete that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, create a new box. I'm just align it to the door there. I'm just going to make a basic shape for a door. kind of keep this kind of somewhat reasonable size I think and before you cut too I mean you can always go into play mode <coughs> um, before I do 
cut this door out though. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna go and create another box. And I'm just gonna create like an extension of this ramp here. So, um, we'll bring this all the way out to here. We'll bring this all the way out to here, and then we'll bring this out. We'll keep that. I'll actually kind of put this underground. That way we can kind of, uh, if we need to like adjust this, we can. I think that looks pretty good. We'll hit accept. And we can also, if we don't move this out anymore, we could probably go ahead and do that. Oh, that's too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and save. <coughs> and then before I make the cut on the door, I'm just going to go into play mode. Uh, this guy will probably see me and follow me, but I want to just check to make sure that this looks good. Make sure the walls look good. Um, I, I kind of like how the, I don't know, it's like built into the side of this terrain. I'm sure this is kind of nonsensical. And that wouldn't actually happen in real life, but I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I think it kind of adds a little bit to the thing. Um, we're really going to have to um, fill up these like little spaces. I don't really know what happened. Um, yeah, I don't know, uh, but we can just adjust things. So, <coughs> I'm going to extend, whoa, that's not what I want to happen. Um, just the door here. Extend this out. I'll go ahead and I will have that come out like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a duplicate. It's your mesh, mesh dupe. We got that. We're going to select this. Mesh cut. We're going to hit accept. And we have now a door. <coughs> and we can also add a little porch area to this. We'll go into poly edit. We'll just match up the floor. I think that's gonna probably be pretty good. That looks pretty nice. It's kind of a nice big uh, porch area. Kind of. It's all kind of messed up though, huh? Let's hit accept and let's go into this. Let's see if we can kind of like fix some of the weirdness here. Might have to just extend this out further. So let's just do that and see if that fixes kind of the wonkiness with the way this looks. 
Um, let me see if I can... Okay, well, I might have to kind of... Okay, I mean... I don't think it's the end of the world. We had some stairs as well. So we can uh, hit complete. Um, actually, I'm going to just turn the rotation snapping on so I can make sure I get exactly what I want. Actually, that didn't work whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Um, so that, I don't know why it, like, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to do that. Complete. Adjust this even more. I don't know, that's that weird. But we'll get it working. Okay. Poly edit, and we can edit the staircase. Should be able to anyway. Let's see. Oh, that's not with that. Here, I got a better idea. Because I feel like, um,. We're gonna save this, but I feel like the blockout tools that I have, the I feel like the stairs on those are a little bit more better. So we're just gonna have uh, linear stairs here. And what we'll do here is we will kind of um, line these stairs up. Cool. Move these and then we will just make these fit. I don't know about you, but I think that that's a much easier time working with stairs than what we were trying to do earlier. And with these, you can also duplicate, turn on the snapping, rotate them, and put some on the other side. There you go. <coughs> we can duplicate these again. Put them on the other side on here too. I think that works much better. So 
So we kind of have this nice little area where we have um, we have that going. Um, ground is kind of sticking out in this area, but I don't really hate it that uh, that much actually. Um, what I do want to do though is if I go back into modeling and poly edit, uh, I do want to um, insert an edge loop. I might insert one there. Hit done. And then like with this, I might extrude Bring the side, but I'm gonna do this. I might try to just close that wall up. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna extrude this, bring that out to the wall. Select that side, bring that in. Turn this into a gray color, gray material. Turn this into a gray material. And turn this into a gray material. turn this to a gray material so with these block out assets you can actually turn these into your own material so on your inspector if you just go down and you go to material type uh, you can go to custom material and down here um, you can select your gray material This also, I want it to be, you guess, oh, it is gray. That one, I want to be a gray material. And all of these, you can probably just select them all. No, what? Okay, there we go. We will turn these into gray material. Mm. And then I think one last thing uh, before we kind of just play test it and then end the video is I'm going to go in and try to uh, remove some of this grass um, stuff here. So I'm going to go into landscape mode <coughs> if I go into paint um, oof. I'm gonna go into dirt I'm just gonna paint this all as dirt and see if I can get rid of some of this grass And that way, um, we won't see a lot of a lot of grass coming through inside of here. It'll be like mainly dirt. Maybe a bit hard, but.
So I do want to kind of keep some of the rock. So I'm going to kind of just paint the bottom layers, the rock. Um, just try to keep some of the, the dirt away. It's gonna be really hard to like switch to the but I think that's fine. Might have to just keep it kinda dirt like. <coughs> and so I got that, and actually let's, um, let's go over to our little Stonehenge area over here. Let's uh, pick up a, a few of these rocks. I'll just duplicate these. We'll just kind of follow these and um, we're going to place these kind of around here. So you might be thinking like, wow, these are really huge rocks and you would be correct. They are pretty large, but we don't have to have them. We don't have to have them this big if we don't want to. But I'm going to just kind of uh, <coughs> move them around, try to create a natural look. kind of interesting And again, these don't have to be final. Um, we can just kind of uh, play around with them. Get a feeling for like what we are looking for.
And we can even reuse rocks, so um, we can duplicate. It's kind of what I like about rock, uh, like placing rocks and stuff is like they don't have to really, f they don't have to look any particular way. They can really look, I don't know. You can use like a certain set of rocks and you can make them like, you don't have to have a lot of rocks, but you can just rotate them, size them differently. Just make them look. Make, make them look different. Place this one down. And then there we go. I, I think that's a really kind of cool rock formation thing going on there. And then uh, we can also, you know, I think on the inverse we should kind of even this out a little bit. On the other side. Make something that makes sense. Again, I'm just kind of reusing rocks. Actually, I'll use the other side of this one. Actually, just actually just lay this down. Whoa. Just kind of place that like right there. <coughs> Move that in. We just kind of have like a small little thing there. And there you go. That all looks really cool. <coughs> and then you can also, um, you know, add foli foliage. So let me bring up my foliage um stuff here so if i go to um my miro and then i go to my horizon level document uh what we could take a note of are the um kind of the settings i have set over here for the foliage um, I think it's great to, um, you know, keep those uh, on hand so you kind of know what to do. So I'm just going to bring this window over here. And uh, let me see. So not like with trees. Which I think has, yeah, my tree settings. So... Um, let me just uh, remember what exactly I need to uh, just a plant, big plant, big plant. <coughs> <coughs> Remember, I just want to try to place things 
relatively um, I want to be pretty sparse with the the trees. some sprinkle around here. I like kind of having the smaller trees there. I don't like that being there. That works there. <coughs> Again, the plan is to kind of like expand this out. kind of a small little area of trees here to kind of separate the saddle a little bit more. that works let's go through and let's go through and add in some more like sh uh, shrubs and smaller plants so do that um, yeah two one uniform. to put in some smaller shrubs. Makes things easier having the values and stuff already implemented for sure. <coughs> Let's kind of sprinkle things throughout We don't want to go overboard. 
with this. But Yeah, I'm thinking this is looking real good. I'll kind of sprinkle some stuff over here, just kind of lightly clicking. some more stuff over here next time but yeah uh, I think with that let me um, go back to select mode I'm gonna save I'm just gonna kind of play through see what we got see how it looks in game and then yeah we'll end the video there so let me just uh, go into play mode and then um, I want to bring up my kind of my um, debug information. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to make sure this guy is selected. Cool. And I'm going to play. So I'm just going to drop down over here, bring up my information, oh. bring up the information, press 4. <coughs> so now you can see that he's actually coming, he's trying to Go through and take a coming out the front door, which is kind of nice. And at some point, um, with the AI, I'll actually be able to like create paths for them. So I'll have like different NPCs having like specific paths, which will be really nice. Yeah, this is looking really cut nice. I, I like kind of this uh, stone area. He's probably gonna try to find me. Well, we can have him just follow us for a while. Yeah, we probably need to go through and uh, change the stuff down here to dirt as well. But I think with like once we put a like a roof on and stuff, it will be much more um, interesting, and we can add in different uh, like we can add in a lot more na navigable uh, areas in this. So we can have you know we'll we'll open this up, and then create some more stuff and make this like a proper building. And then we can add like catwalks. We can actually put in like stuff like, you know, like a try uh, bandits came in and add added scaffolding to everything and whatnot. We can add that to it. <coughs> we can do a whole bunch of stuff. And this will be kind of part of the building too. We'll place walls around this area. Maybe we can have kind of like a, a sky, like, I don't know, something cool. We'll open this area up, have that be something. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I think this is a really cool um, milestone, multiple milestones for this 
uh, horizon level. I, I think we're starting to really kind of get in the swing of things and really starting to like expand this out. Uh, one of the things I'd like to do is get to the Thunderjaw area, really uh, get that going. Add a lot of like, you know, traversal. I want to get ladders implemented. I want to get like working NPCs. <coughs> be cool to get some semblance of like a combat system in even if it's just as simple as just like you know pulling out uh and shooting people to your bone arrow and they just disappear and get destroyed but having like enemies you know not only chase you down but also attack you so you have to like get out of the way um maybe uh implementing a health bar doing different things that can really enhance uh the level but yeah um i want to thank everybody for watching uh, i know this is a, a pretty long video i um just want to thank everyone for watching through all of my content and um yeah uh, if you like what you see uh feel free to subscribe and follow my content and if you whoo man out of breath if you uh, have any feedback or uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And yeah, I will see you guys later. See ya.